Hey everyone, today we're diving into a topic that's utterly important for your health. That's right, we're talking about milk and medications. You know, that creamy beverage we've all grown up with might not be the best sidekick for every pill you pop. Now I'm not saying you need to ditch your morning cereal or give up cheese pizza, never. But there are certain medications that just don't jive with our good friend milk. Think of it like this. Sometimes you want fries with that burger, and sometimes you just need a salad. So grab your popcorn, but maybe skip the milkshake for this one. Let's break down which medications and milk are like oil and water, and which ones are totally cool to chug together. All right, first up, let's talk about antibiotics. These are the big guns we use to fight off bacterial infections, from a simple ear infection to something more serious. They are our frontline warriors in the battle against harmful bacteria. Now, you might think a glass of milk would be the perfect way to wash down these powerful pills, but hold your horses. It's not as simple as it seems. Remember that whole oil and water analogy? Well, that's what's going on here. Just like oil and water don't mix, milk and certain antibiotics don't play well together. You see, milk contains calcium, and some antibiotics, like tetracyclines and ciprofloxacin, bind to calcium. This binding can interfere with the absorption of the medication. This means that instead of being absorbed into your bloodstream and doing their job of fighting off those nasty bacteria, they get stuck with the calcium in your stomach. It's like they're trapped and can't do their job. It's like sending your troops into battle with their hands tied behind their backs. Not very effective, right? They can't fight properly if they're restrained. So when you're on these types of antibiotics, it's best to avoid milk for at least two hours before and after taking your medication. This gives the antibiotics a chance to be absorbed properly. Think of it this way. You wouldn't put your antibiotic cream in a glass of milk, would you? Please say no for the love of all things sterile. It just doesn't make sense. The same principle applies here. We want those antibiotics to work their magic, and that means keeping them far, far away from milk. Let them do their job without any interference. Now I know what you're thinking. Dr. Mike, you're taking away my cookies and milk. But don't worry, there's a way to enjoy both. Don't worry. I'm not a monster. You can still enjoy your dairy. Just be mindful of the timing. It's all about planning ahead. Have your milk at least two hours before or after your medication, and you'll be good to go. Set a timer if you need to, to remind yourself. Remember, we're aiming for maximum antibiotic effectiveness here, folks. We want those antibiotics to be at their best. We want those little bacterial bad guys to be running for the hills. Let's give our antibiotics the best chance to succeed. So keep those antibiotics and milk separate and you'll be back to your old self in no time. Your health is worth the extra effort. Next up, let's dive into the world of thyroid medication and its interactions. This is crucial for folks who have an underactive thyroid, a condition where their body doesn't produce enough thyroid hormone. This hormone is essential for regulating metabolism, energy levels, and overall well-being. Now you might be surprised to learn that milk and thyroid medication are like cats and dogs. They just don't mix well. It's a bit of a love-hate relationship. You see, just like with certain antibiotics, calcium in milk can interfere with the absorption of thyroid medication, specifically levothyroxine. This interference can significantly reduce the effectiveness of your medication. This means your body might not get the full dose it needs to keep your thyroid levels in check. And when your thyroid levels are off, it can lead to a host of issues like fatigue, weight gain, and mood swings. Imagine this. You've got a perfectly balanced scale representing your thyroid hormone levels. Keeping this balance is crucial for your health. Taking your medication is like adding the right weight to keep it balanced. It's a delicate process that requires precision. But then, bam, you drink milk too close to taking your medication, and it's like a mischievous cat jumping on one side of the scale, throwing everything off balance. Not ideal, right? This disruption can make it harder to manage your thyroid condition effectively. We want that scale to stay balanced, and that means keeping milk and thyroid medication as far apart as possible. It's a simple yet effective strategy. Ideally, you should wait at least four hours after taking your thyroid medication before indulging in any dairy delights. This waiting period ensures that your medication is fully absorbed. Think of it as a little time out for your milk and medication. They need their space to do their jobs properly. Let them have their separate spaces, and everyone will be happy. Your body will thank you for this small but significant adjustment. Your thyroid will thank you for it, and you'll be feeling balanced and energized in no time. It's all about making smart choices for your health. Remember, folks, we're all about finding that perfect harmony in our bodies. 
A balanced thyroid means a balanced life. And sometimes that means making a few small adjustments like keeping our milk and thyroid medication separate. It's a small change with big benefits for your health and well-being. Iron supplements, the surprising twist. All right, folks, get ready for a surprising twist. We're talking about iron supplements, those little pills that help boost your iron levels and fight off fatigue. Now, you might think that milk, with its reputation for being a nutritional powerhouse, would be a good companion for iron supplements. But guess what? You won't believe this one. Milk actually hinders the absorption of iron from supplements. I know, right? It's like finding out your favorite superhero has a secret weakness. But it's true. The calcium in milk swoops in and binds to the iron, preventing it from being properly absorbed into your system. It's like setting up a romantic dinner for two, iron and your body, and then having a third wheel, calcium, show up uninvited and steal your date's attention. Not cool, calcium, not cool. So what's the solution? Simple. Just like with antibiotics and thyroid medication, timing is key. Avoid consuming milk or other calcium-rich foods and drinks for at least two hours before and after taking your iron supplement. This gives your body a chance to absorb the iron without any interference from calcium. Think of it as creating a clear pathway for iron to reach its destination, your red blood cells. Remember, we want those iron levels to soar high, not get stuck in a calcium traffic jam. So, keep those iron supplements and milk separate and you'll be feeling energized and ready to conquer the world in no time. Osteoporosis drugs, a first date gone wrong. Let's talk about osteoporosis drugs, those trusty medications that help strengthen bones and prevent fractures. They are essential for maintaining bone health, especially as we age. Now, you might think that milk, with its bone-building reputation, would be a match made in heaven for these drugs. After all, milk is rich in calcium, which is vital for strong bones. But hold on a second. This seemingly perfect pairing is actually a recipe for disaster. This is one relationship that's more like a bad first date, awkward, uncomfortable, and best avoided altogether. Imagine sitting through an entire meal with someone you have nothing in common with. You see, some osteoporosis medications like bisphosphonates need to be taken on an empty stomach with a full glass of water. This is crucial for their effectiveness. And when I say empty, I mean empty. No sneaky snacks or sips of anything other than water. No coffee, no juice, and definitely no milk. Why so strict? Because these beverages can interfere with the medication's absorption. Well, it all comes down to absorption. The medication needs to be absorbed properly to be effective. These medications are like delicate flowers that need the perfect conditions to bloom. They require a specific environment to work their best. When taken with food or drinks other than water, their absorption can be significantly reduced, making them less effective at doing their job. This means your bones won't get the full benefit. Imagine this. You've got a VIP backstage pass to meet your favorite band. That's your medication meeting your bones. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But then, you show up with a big group of friends, milk and other foods, and the security guard, your stomach, says, sorry, only the VIP can come in. Bummer, right? Your medication needs to go solo to be effective. That's why it's crucial to follow your doctor's instructions carefully when taking osteoporosis medications. They know the best way to ensure the medication works. Take them on an empty stomach with a full glass of water and avoid milk and other calcium-rich foods and drinks for at least 30 minutes to two hours afterwards. This waiting period is essential. This ensures that the medication gets a clear pathway to your bones where it can work its magic without any distractions. Think of it as giving the medication a clear runway to land. Remember, we want those bones to be strong and resilient, and that means giving your osteoporosis medication the VIP treatment it deserves. So, follow the guidelines and let your medication do its job. Certain heart medications, the pineapple on pizza of the medication world. Last but not least, let's talk about certain heart medications, specifically a class of drugs called calcium channel blockers. These medications are like the cool kids on the block, helping to lower blood pressure and keep your heart happy. But just like some cool kids have an aversion to certain foods, broccoli anyone, calcium channel blockers aren't big fans of milk. You see, calcium channel blockers and calcium-rich foods and drinks, like milk, don't exactly see eye to eye. When combined, they can lead to a buildup of calcium in the body, which can mess with the medication's effectiveness and potentially lead to side effects. 
It's like trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. It just doesn't work. These two are like pineapple on pizza. Just don't do it. So what's the takeaway? If you're taking calcium channel blockers, it's best to talk to your doctor about whether you need to limit your calcium intake or adjust the timing of your medication. They'll be able to give you personalized advice based on your individual needs and health conditions. Remember folks, when it comes to your heart health, it's always better to err on the side of caution. Listen to your doctor, follow their instructions carefully, and don't be afraid to ask questions. Your heart will thank you for it. Milk and meds, the final verdict. So there you have it, folks. If you're on any of these medications, it's best to steer clear of milk. Your body will thank you, and so will your taste buds. Remember, just because milk is a staple in many diets, it doesn't mean it plays well with every medication out there. Think of it like this. You wouldn't put orange juice in your cereal, would you? Okay, maybe some of you would, but you get the point. Sometimes you just have to keep certain things separate to ensure they work their best. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more health tips with a side of humor. Stay healthy and stay happy.